Baltimore City Community College is an uh, inner city community college, Maryland State Institution, and uh, it has its major site, its uh, main campus, at uh, 2901 Liberty Heights Avenue. It also has branch campuses, and the Life Sciences Institute is one of those branch campuses that's been strate strategically located to be part of the workforce development for the research. Um, the Life Sciences Institute offers three associate degree programs, one in biotechnology, environmental science, and arts and science, science transfer. Uh, it also offers certificate programs as well as non-credit healthcare training programs. Uh, the internship program is part of the biotechnology program. Uh, that program was started in 1987. It's one of the lo long, longest running biotechnology programs in the nation. Um, the, one of the key components of that is the capstone course, which is Biology 199, their internship and it compromises 250 hours of research experience. Um, students need to be able to um, take their skills from uh, proficiency to mastery, and in the laboratory we really try to be able to do that, but it's a little bit difficult when you don't have that immediate continuous repetition on a skill. Um, for example, in an instrumentation course, uh, students learn how to use a spectrophotometer. They learn how to validate their micropipetting. Uh, and so when they're using the spectrophotometer the first time, they are using it in a research uh, type scenario where they're trying to understand an unknown protein and decide the optimal um, optical density for that particular protein by being able, to, being able to scan wavelengths and then to target wavelengths. After they have used uh, both of these skills to bring it to another level, we then do a Bradford assay where they have to use their micropipetting skills to be able to pipette their standard curve where they have to use the spectrophotometer uh, at a set wavelength to be able to identify their bovine serum albumin standards. And then they have to graph an unknown. So we try to keep building the skills at each level so there is some repetition, but uh, it's not until you get into the laboratory and you're doing a Bradford every day that it becomes second nature. I'm Celine Plache. I'm a postdoctoral fellow in the Department of Anatomy and Neurobiology. And um, I participated to uh, the internship uh, program. It was a very positive experience. It was, um, I have to say, we were really surprised uh, by uh, the people we got. So basically the way it worked is that we decided to interview three candidates and see which one was going to work um, best for us and then and then we found uh, Sanchita came and she uh, decided to work for us and we were really pleased and and when I say we were surprised it's because we knew their background and we knew what they uh, they had learned and basically the project they had to do for us in the lab was very anatomical and we knew that they didn't do any brain sectioning at BBCC and so um, we were a bit worried oh it might take a bit longer you know to get them trained but actually uh, the training was very easy um, she came with a very nice background she knew how to do solutions right away and where we were very surprised is that she was able to learn really fast and, and she did an amazing job in the lab, so we were very pleased with um, the internship program. My name is Sanchita Pande. I'm an intern. Uh, I'm doing my intern in the University of Maryland in the Dr. Pucha lab. It's a department of anatomy and neuroscience. They prepared well for me. Mostly Dr. Norris, she helped me a lot during, uh, during this program. She, she helped me in our lab. She taught me everything about the solution and how to uh, act with the bacteria, how to work in lab, everything. So I'm well prepared while coming here. I, wa I had a really gr great experience and was really helpful. And I got the interesting job in the industry. My name is Nancy Fawcett and I'm an assistant professor um, and my primary appointment is in pathology. So we had a great um, intern this past summer. He started in May and he worked until August and um, it, it was a absolutely a positive experience. 
In terms of the individual techniques that they're in our lab, they're, they're very specialized. So we had to train him in some of the individual techniques. But the most important thing that he brought to this was tenacity and the ability to um, comprehend uh, and push a project forward. So he had the basic knowledge of how to do experimental design, but we had to show him the specialized techniques. But he was a quick learner and um, the, and he did come with some skills, uh, uh, the appropriate skill set. My name is Kiara Stevens and I work in the Margolis Research Lab at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. His department is the Neurobiology Department and I was hired on August of 2011. My training, it was seamless. There were some things that you adjust to as with any new job, you learn how to uh, approach other people in the laboratory, but as far as working, um, a lot of the technical skills we learned, such as pipetting, uh, running um, DNA amplification, a lot of those skills were used. So a lot of them, it helped tremendously to have the prior experience of having those classes at BCCC. And when you come in there, you're comfortable with the, you're comfortable with the material and you're comfortable with the equipment. I love the internship program. I love the fact that it's required of BCCC to do the internship program and I think every student should work in a research laboratory before going to the job market. So I really appreciate this experience. I'm valuing this experience a lot. Since I go out for internship, I've already completed uh, a scenario of coursework um, that is transferable to baccalaureate institutions. So they've already done two semesters of inorganic chemistry, a semester of organic chemistry, general biology, microbiology, molecular genetics, uh, as well as in uh, biotechnology courses that which specialize in skills for the laboratory like our instrumentation course. So once they come into the laboratory, they already have a background of skills that they're trying to build upon. Um, as I said, the internship lasts 250 hours, and that's a little bit flexible. Um, and all of our internships are set up on a very flexible basis. Uh, it's like the old-fashioned handshake. Um, University of Maryland faculty be can, can become involved by just simply emailing me at knorris at bccc.edu. Um, I can uh, set up uh, conversations uh, electronically, or we can meet in person. Uh, we invite anyone to uh, try to have one of our interns at your site. We have had many people that have been drug kicking and screaming into taking their first intern that have been wildly satisfied. And of course they say, well, we'll never get an intern like that first intern that you placed with us. But that's not true. They are on their second, third, fourth, fifth interns now. And we've only been at the site for two years. Uh, one of those sites, it took a year and a half to get an intern and they're already on their fourth. So I won't name names but they all know who I'm talking about uh, at the biopark.